brought to you by Sprite. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, it'll be the San Antonio Spurs up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And for Oklahoma City, they've made a nice push as we've reached the middle part of the schedule. They look like a different team than they did in the early part of the season. Tim Duncan, one of the great leaders in the NBA, Shaq, he sets the tone for the entire Spurs organization as far as guys who are on the floor in between the lines. I dubbed him the big fundamental in 1995-96 because he has a tremendous knowledge of how to play the game and what it takes to win. And at this point, Ernie, he's like the player's coach. A lot of times, Coach Popovich will call a timeout, just let Timmy and the veterans straighten things out. Tim Duncan, uh, one of a kind uh, in uh, not only Spurs history, but NBA history. Big fundamentals. Fundamental or fundamentals? Fundamentals. He has oh. it all, Ernie. Oh, OK. Good. More than one. All right. Thanks for setting the record straight. Here's Kevin Harlan's. We've got basketball action at the AT&T Center. We're in San Antonio, Texas, the home of the Spurs, live on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke as we get set to bring you some terrific NBA action. The Spurs happy to be returning to San Antonio after the road trip. They know this is the type of game they need to win if they're going to take the next step facing a closely ranked team. No clear underdogs based on the tail of the tape. Well, there's no place like home, Kevin. It's always nice to be in familiar surroundings around those that cheer for you, your family and friends. And home is home. There's no place like it. Well, you're sleeping in your own bed. You're not flying into a new city and landing at 3 o'clock in the morning after playing a tough game. So you're much more comfortable. And uh, you've got to take advantage of that and win some home games. Now the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Ran outside at the three with Ibaka playing the power forward. Roberson is out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Adams in at the five. Now here's Joseph. Here is Bonner. And the wide open shot from Green. And it's Durant with the rebound. Coach Scott Brooks of the Thunder. He's brought great stability to this organization. A lot of talent on this roster, but doesn't always fit in terms of their offensive flow. So. Uh, the Thunder like to keep it pretty simple with their X's and O's. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Now here's Joseph. He's covered by Westbrook. And Anderson kicks to Bonner. There's the dish to Duncan. No luck. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. I know that's a game they'd like to forget. Sort of a tough day for them all around. Yeah, I don't see any reason they won't be able to rebound from it pretty quickly, though. I mean, this team throughout the season has shown itself to be pretty resilient. It's stolen by Adams. Westbrook dishes to Ibaka. The kick out to Adams. Westbrook with it. He's coming off a 16-point game against Houston. And, Kevin, he was amazing defensively as well. I mean, he was racking up steals left and right. Now, here's Green. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. The pass to Joseph. Lock at six. Anderson against Westbrook. A nice shot by Anderson. He's not their first option, but not a bad fallback either. Last game for the Spurs. They picked up the W against the Hornets in Charlotte. And it was the role players uh, in that game, Kevin, that really led the charge. You know, the guys who normally don't score a lot, they came in and really contributed. A total team performance, Steve. The kind you need if you're going to win on the opponent's home floor. Now here's Joseph following the shot by Kevin Durant. Outside, Green. Plenty of space. That's good from Joseph on the assist by Green. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. 
Here's Roberson. Kicks it to Adams, and there's the feed to Durant. Here's the screen. Back to Adams. Outside Durant, six to shoot. Dishes it to Westbrook. Let's the three fly. That's good. Westbrook's got seven points. It's going to be tough for the defense today. If he's got his A game rolling here tonight, we'll see. And Joseph kicks to Green. Blocked. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Durant's got the ball. And he gets it to go. Durant's got his second bucket. Wow, just a tremendous first quarter shooting the basketball for them, guys. Yeah, when they put it up, it's gone in. Duncan with a screen on Westbrook. Duncan, a screen. Bonner passes to Green. He kicks it to Joseph. Back to Green. Danny Green, a nice find by the Spurs as a 3 and D role player. Well, the Spurs always seem to find those kind of guys. A mid-second round pick was Green. He got waived by the Cavs, spent some time playing abroad. Now he holds the record for three-pointers made in the finals. And he knocks down the first one. And for Danny Green, guys, a quality defender at either wing position. And, you know, Steve, as you like to say, a floor spacer offensively. That's right. Two-way guys, Kevin. Two-way players. It's what the playoffs are all about. You think about the success Green has had the last couple of seasons, defending star players at one end, knocking down big threes at the other. Wow, what a player he's become. The Thunder leading by five. Westbrook dishes to Ibaka. Great D that time from Duncan. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. Out to the wing. Let's a floater go. The Thunder have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Ibaka sets the pick for Durant. Up off the screen, takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Boy, a pick was set at the perfect angle on the floor, and he used it nicely. Well, that's a play we may see from them a few more times. Why not? I mean, when it works, you go back to it. Make him stop you. Well, with the way that Kevin Durant has improved over the last few seasons, you have to wonder if he has even yet peaked as a player. Scary to think, but there's still some room for growth. I think he can get stronger and develop a better low post game. And with Durant, you really forget how young he is. He came into the league at such a young age. Clark and was a star so quickly. It seems like he's the old vet, but he might be a year or two away from his prime. Yeah, I think he's still a couple of years away from his prime when all of the physical, emotional, and mental come together at that peak point of performance. Um, his best seasons are still in front of him, and he's had some pretty good ones behind him to this point. These teams don't look like they belong on the same court today. It's pretty ridiculous to have a double-digit lead this early. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. There have been a number of nicknames floated around for Kevin Durant. Everything from the simple KD to the Durantula. But the internet came up with a good one for him last season during his hot streak calling him the Slim Reaper. I like them all, though. Poke loose, stolen by Durant. Oh, get it! Oh, oh. Watch out now! <laughs> it has taken them no time to build this lead up on the, the strength of a, a great first quarter offensively. And they need to continue to put pressure on the defense and try to really run away with this one from here. Now, here's Green. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the Hornets in Charlotte. Shot clock at six. Looking to end the run, and he gets it to go. You know, one of the nicknames, guys, that came out regarding Durant was the Slim Reaper, and it caught on pretty quickly. Uh, Durant was only lukewarm to it, which is typical of Kevin. Doesn't want to bring a lot of attention to himself. Steve, if I remember, he said he just prefers KD. Uh, am I right? Or the Servant? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. The Servant he talked about, which reminded me of Tony Kukoc's old nickname, the Waiter. 
uh, but it tells you everything you need to know about Durant. He, he prefers to be known uh, from a moniker that, that serves others rather than uh, glorifies himself. That's Durant. Duncan with a screen for Green. It's good from long range. Green's got it back down to within single digits for San Antonio. The Thunder have gone 8 of 12 on field goal attempts so far. Outside Durant. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Durant's got 11 points. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effectively. Yeah, and until they do, the problems inside are only going to get worse. Now, here's Green. He's got seven. Passes to Bonner. Takes a three. And it's Durant with the rebound. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, because you know if you continue to give up open looks like that, you're in big trouble. So it's San Antonio now, following the shot by Kevin Durant. Joseph with the ball. Westbrook picks him up. Got a piece of it. Durant with the steal. Now here's Westbrook. He's guarded closely. Feeds to Durant. And Joseph kicks to Green. And it's blocked. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. And Westbrook, here we go. No good. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Home court didn't seem to help any last time they met. We'll see if it makes a difference this time. Well, the big thing is they've got to avoid tonight what happened in the previous matchup. A lot of their starters were on the bench with foul trouble in that game. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Steven Adams from New Zealand, the first Kiwi Clark ever drafted in the first round. And Kevin, he played rugby growing up. He says that it helped him prepare for the physicality of playing inside. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Splitters checked in for Duncan. Diaw comes in for Matt Bonner. Mono Ginobili, he's checked in for Anderson. And it's Bellinelli in for Green. So it's the Spurs now. 11-point game. Joseph, the pass to Bellinelli. Diaw can't hit. And one thing I like about Adams, and maybe it's the rugby background, he plays with so much aggression, but always keeps an even keel. He's the one who sort of initiates contact, and he becomes an irritant with his opponent, but he never retaliates, and that's real toughness. And Joseph kicks to Splitter. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second call. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard for the past 10 games. These teams have been fantastic on rebounding. Number one, the Thunder. Now, what a show of strength and rebounding we've seen recently. These guys playing extremely physically. Now the Thunder with it. They're on a 19-7 run. Boy, you look at Steven Adams. He's got an impressive frame. Um, you forget that he's only 21 years old. So he's got room to grow and to get stronger both when you consider skill development and his physicality. He could really be one of the most imposing big men in the league for a long time going forward. They've built a big lead here early, both defensively and offensively. They've been terrific right from the tip. Joseph dishes to Bellinelli, and he gets it to go. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Left side, Jackson. There's a minute 34 left to play in the first. Morrow, no good. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, they were uh, very lucky defensively because there was some miscommunication there. They left him wide open. Now, here's Joseph, averaging 10 points per contest. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very, very well done. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Thunder. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And we're also seeing a lot of fast break hoops, so this team doing a nice job getting easy points. You look at the Thunder, they're really the epitome 
of patience, the build through the draft model, constructing a contender with consistency and, a, and a, just a solid approach every day. That's why they are year in and year out so tough to handle. Ginobili the pass to Splitter. Back to Ginobili. Pass to Splitter. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Ginobili. He's covered closely. Splitter misses. Oklahoma City leading by 14. Outside Jackson. And here's Morrow outside. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Morrow's got himself on the board with three there. San Antonio's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And here is Joseph. Diao, the screen. Now here's Joseph. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Thunder lead by 17. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Welcome back, everyone, to lopsided first quarter in the books already as we start this second quarter. And a very convincing performance from the Thunder so far. Just the start they wanted to this game. Solid offense. They got good ball movement. Established a nice rhythm. Yeah, not stagnant at all. Free-flowing and fluid at the offensive end. Spurs trail by 17. Taking a look at the Thunder. We've got Nick Collison. Reggie Jackson out there with Jeremy Lamb. Then there's Anthony Morrow. And it's Perkins in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Joseph. And Ginobili. Here we go. And it's blocked by Perkins. They recover it. So we got a moment now to check out the story on Reggie Jackson. How this year is going for him. He's averaging 15 points a game, five assists, and four rebounds. And you always want that leader in the second unit. He's their guy to, to play that role. Steve, he comes on and runs the show for him when the reserves log minutes, and that's a job well done by him. He's off on the first, and the Thunder making a switch here. Durant's checked in. That one is no good. So much can be said about the Spurs' dominance as a franchise. Oh, wow. oh, How about oh. that basketball that fan? Beautiful. Wow. Now they've gotten something out of just about every possession, and their defense has been just as good. Masterful performance across the board. And don't forget, on the road, too. Spurs trail by 19. Now Ginobili. He picked up 27 points in their last win against the Hornets in Charlotte. And he really competed defensively, too, Kevin. Three steals. He was all alone on that one. Ginobili's got his first two points of the night. The Thunder leading by 17. Jackson drives in. Takes a big high bounce and goes in. Jackson's got his third bucket of the night. And they have to mix it up defensively. That was just too easy. Ginobili outside. He dishes it to Joseph. Back to Ginobili. Five on the clock. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. 
Mano Ginobili in the final year of his two-year contract extension with the Spurs, Steve, and some speculate that he may retire after this season. Yeah, fantastic career for Ginobili. You know what I think, Kevin? I think uh, Ginobili, Parker, Duncan, and Popovich should all just walk away right now. Just, you know, go away together, and this has nothing to do with me coaching the Warriors. I'm, yeah, right, nothing to right. do with me at all. This is about them. They've earned this. Walk away now, guys. Just leave. I hear some admiration, but I also hear some sarcasm in there, too, from our partner there. Anderson, he's checked in for San Antonio. Then for the Thunder, Adams, he's checked in for Collison. Ibaka comes in for Anthony Morrow. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Jeremy Lamb. And both free throws, good for Ginobili. And Ginobili certainly will go down in history as one of the all-time great six men alongside the likes of the John Havlicek, the Kevin McHale earlier in his career. I'm throwing out some old school names for you young bucks. <laughs> and Manu, a two-time All-Star, won three NBA titles with the Spurs, an outstanding career for a player drafted 57th back in 1999. And the first one at the line is good. Well, the Thunder with an athletic guard rotation between Russell Westbrook and Reggie Jackson. Jackson, of course, not the level of Westbrook, but he brings some similar things to the table as far as size, athleticism, scoring, and rebounding. Good on both. And Jackson, the former 24th pick overall, Clark back in 2011 out of BC, rounding into a quality NBA player and score one more for the Thunder's front office. Well, Oklahoma City seems to like that athletic player with size, toughness, and athleticism. And you know what? Jackson fits that mold. Now here's Ginobili, averaging 13 points a contest. From deep three-point range, Serge Ibaka with the rebound. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boards. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. Spurs trail by 21. Anderson outside. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And Diaw kicks to Bellinelli. 11 feet away. Here's Baines. He feeds it to Ginobili. Second chance shot. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Ginobili's got six in the quarter. Starting to get a little momentum here after that scoreless first quarter. Westbrook dishes to Adams. Durant at the elbow. And Baines pulls it down. Baines has got his third rebound on the night. Ginobili the pass to Anderson. There's the dish to Baines. Anderson outside, pass to Bellinelli. From 10 feet out, that's good. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Guys, it is hard to question that Patty Mills was instrumental in the Spurs title runs. Getting in the best shape of his life was the key to his breakout season. As Coach Popovich said, he was a little fatty. He had too much junk in the trunk. He came back svelte and cut and understood you have to make better decisions, point guard type decisions. Kevin? Pop never wanted to hide his feelings, Torch. Thank you. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Russell Westbrook may be the most athletic and explosive point guard ever to play in the NBA. Uh, some people would say, what about you? Well, you know, it's hard to say ever, but Russell Westbrook clearly plays with the kind of ferocity that I've not seen at the point guard position. The only guy that comes to mind um, is probably Derrick Rose prior to his injury. I think Westbrook's aggression powering through contact probably gives him the edge. I mean, he plays almost angry. A lot of torque. <laughs> a lot of torque. Yeah. And I mean, it's, um, it's something to behold. I've not quite seen a guy at the point guard spot bring that kind of athleticism and um, speed 
and tenacity to the position. Well, I like how you mentioned Rose because I, I would agree, and that's a great, great way to kind of uh, figure out where he is when Rose is healthy. Yeah, exactly. The, the pre-injured Rose was... He was right in that so, same yeah, category. You got it. Now here's Duncan following the shot by Kevin Durant. Bellinelli up top. Shot clock at six. The pass to Baines. And the rejection by Ibaka. Durant in the corner for three. And the Thunder, another three. Oh, he's clearly feeling it, Clark, coming off that fantastic game last time out. Spurs trail by 20. And Anderson kicks to Duncan. There's the feed to Bellinelli. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. Bellinelli's got six. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And I would continue to do it. You know, force the defense to maybe send a double team. Now you've got other options to work with offensively. And it's the Thunder with the ball. After the basket by San Antonio. He had his choice of finishing moves there, and you just got to love the fact he went old school with the finger roll. Anderson up top. He's covered by Westbrook. And Anderson kicks to Bellinelli. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Bellinelli's got six here in this quarter. And he's shaking off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Robertson dishes to Westbrook. Here's Roberson. Back to Westbrook. The tray. Rebound San Antonio. Duncan's got six rebounds now in the game. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Here's Baines. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Kicks to Anderson. Just five to shoot. Green. Here's Duncan and Durant with the block. And they'll keep possession. They get the rebound. Dishes it to Robertson. He kicks it to Adams. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Here's Roberson, guarded by Green. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. What is insane about the Spurs and how successful they are as a franchise is that in their entire franchise history, they've only missed the playoffs four times. That is absolutely remarkable. And with the Spurs in the playoffs, you can't even begin to think about a postseason without the Spurs being involved. Only four absences since 1976. That's incredible. Of course, with the Spurs, the last time they missed the playoffs, they drafted perhaps one of the best power forwards of all time in Tim Duncan. Well, you know, he's a part of why they haven't missed the playoffs since, but the organization has run really well from top to bottom, um, and they deserve nothing but the success they've had since their inception because of that. Now here's Anderson, past the splitter. Back to Anderson. Here's Green. That doesn't go either for Green. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. Westbrook with it. Now Green defending. It's Westbrook with the drive. And he sinks the shot coming off the strong pick. Westbrook's got 15 points. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Anderson kicks to Bellinelli. Takes a three. Good. Bellinelli's got nine points now in the quarter. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. Westbrook drives in, and he gets it to go. And the Thunder lead by 21. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's having. Anderson with the ball. Duncan outside. Over in the corner, Green. Right side, Green. Baseline try, and it comes off the front of the rim. The Thunder leading by 21. Durant kicks to Westbrook. Oh, oh look out, man! Oh, really? 
Power. shaken. Wow, we're going to remember that one for a while. I know I will, Kevin. That was special. <laughs> oh, man, that was a circus dunk. Now, here's Anderson. Duncan with a screen on Durant. Bellinelli passes to Duncan. Feeds the splitter. Out to the wing. Bellinelli for three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Abaka goes in. The shot is off. Great D that time from Green. Two minutes, two minutes. 158 left in the first half. Anderson kicks to Duncan. There's a screen. On the wing, Green. That's good, and so Duncan with the assist. Green's got nine. Oklahoma City's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. Well, Tim Duncan, when asked about his retirement plans right after the 2013 Finals, refused to dignify the question with the response. But last season's Spurs run answered loudly enough. Matt Bonner, he's checked in for the Spurs. Joseph comes in for Anderson and then for Oklahoma City. Nick Collison's checked in for Abaca. Morrow comes in for Kevin Durant, and Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Roberson. Now here's Perkins. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Double team on Westbrook. And for Duncan and the Spurs, year after year, people write him off, and Steve, they keep proving him wrong. It's incredible. I mean, I think I wrote them off four years ago, and here they are continuing to just be an elite team in the NBA, and Duncan, one of the big reasons for it. He seems to get better and better, and he loves the game. He continues to stay in great shape and compete. Who knows how long he'll go. Now, here's Joseph, following the miss by Russell Westbrook. Pass to Joseph. Shot clock at six. He dishes it to Splitter. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Green, no luck. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Here's Morrow, averaging 10 points per contest. Tries to save it, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. Mono Ginobili, he's checked in for Bellinelli. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Jackson, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Forty-one seconds left in the first half of basketball. And here is Joseph. Now here's Green. Six to shoot. He feeds it to Splitter. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. Uh, Clark, I'm guessing that wasn't the plan for the D on that trip. And I'm agreeing with you there. Once they opened the lane up for him, that was a little emphasis on that finish. Take what the defense gives you and then just power it home, right? Why not? Jackson gets the bucket. And here is Ginobili. Six points for him. One second left. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. It's the Thunder running away with it. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris. Thank you, Kevin. I'm here with Scott Brooks. And Coach, what about your approach has given you this lead? Well, we were aggressive. We attacked. We got to the basket. We passed. We defended. That's what we do. Scott, thank you. All good things, guys. Okay, Doris, much appreciated. And now for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports as we get set to get going once again. Hey, during the break, players getting a chance to refuel and hydrate with some Gatorade as there is more basketball in store. Well, you look at Russell Westbrook in this game. He has been everywhere. You know, he spoils us with his performances game in and game out. And so far, just another big scoring night for him. Typically, when he puts up that many points in the first half, he's going to follow it up with a better second half. We'll see if that happens here.
Spurs trail by 21. You know, Steve, a lot of teams look at this Thunder franchise as a model, you know, of how to go about building a team that can compete for a title uh, through the through the NBA draft. Well, it's a good model to follow, but you need some luck, Kevin. I mean, uh, Kevin Durant fell into their lap. If they don't get the second pick in the lottery and if Greg Oden doesn't go first to Portland, none of this happens. So, yeah, great planning, and they've, they've had a terrific uh, effort to put all this together, but it really comes back to getting Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. Our second half of basketball. Ball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the court right now for the Spurs. Anderson is out there with Bonner. Then it's Corey Joseph. Then it's Green. And it's Duncan in at the five down low. You know, going back to touch again on the Thunder, really you couldn't have asked for a better scenario for a small market team to put together a roster like this. I mean, your core pieces, your cornerstone pieces, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, Serge Ibaka are all relatively young in their careers and seem to enjoy playing for each other, so they're going to be good for a long time. 4-3, Westbrook, and he gets it to go. Westbrook's got 22. Well, it's kind of been the story here today, hasn't it, Clark? And here is Joseph. Duncan at the elbow. Now the dish to Joseph. Anderson, a screen on Westbrook. Five on the clock. Green kicks to Duncan. Tries it from nine. No good. And the Thunder going the other way now. Well, they did have to deal with some small market repercussions, though. The Thunder, you know what I'm talking about. You know, they, they couldn't afford to pay James Harden. They had to make that trade. But I think they've dealt with it really well. They've added some nice pieces, and the Thunder... Obviously still one of the elite teams in the NBA. Beautiful work in the transition game. That's how to do it. Attack early before the defense can get itself set. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Spurs coach Greg Popovich is so highly respected by his peers. Thunder coach Scott Brooks said there are three things you can count on. Death, taxes, and pop winning 50 games. Dallas coach Rick Carlisle called him, quote, the best coach in any sport ever and the smartest man in the history of the world. Kevin, he wasn't joking. High praise indeed. Thank you, Doris. Boy, even though he missed, you can't give up that kind of a look very often. Yeah, they're lucky that they didn't get burned on that one. Joseph dishes to Green. Right wing, all alone. That's good from Joseph on the assist by Green. Green's got three assists tonight. That bounce pass got him the ball in rhythm. Nice play. Westbrook drives in, and the layup's good off the glass. Westbrook's got 26 points. They've been so efficient in the paint in this game. That's an area they've totally dominated. You know, once they ID'd the edge they had inside, they just continued to attack it. San Antonio calls timeout. Well, the Spurs clearly an influential organization in the NBA. So many individuals who've worked in San Antonio, whether it be as players, assistant coaches, or in the front office, have gone on to leadership roles on other NBA teams. I think that speaks volumes to what that group has been able to do in winning at a high level. Here's Bonner. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And you look at all the head coaches and front office executives who have come out of the Spurs organization. They are sprinkled guys throughout the NBA. And, Steve, almost half the teams in the league have some kind of fingerprint from the Spurs. Well, it's a copycat league. And, you know, the Spurs winning culture, you know, all the cross-pollinating that goes on in the NBA and the relationships. And I think in the end, you know, the result is good for the league. You want as many well-run franchises as possible. The Thunder and especially Kevin Durant seem to be on the clock for when are they going to win a title. But they still haven't closed the deal yet. And, Kevin, there's no guarantee that you'll win a title. Even if you are a really good team with star players, it just doesn't always automatically happen. I mean, that's not a given. Even though they're chipping away at it and they've made some great progress over the last four or five years, those things are hard to get. Here's Roberson. Pass to Westbrook. Ibaka sets the pick for Westbrook. 
And to your point about the Thunder, I'm not sure if they're missing anything roster-wise. Up and down, there are very few holes for this team. And, you know, going back to what you said about the Thunder, they have the stars and the depth, but maybe adding a few more veterans here and there could help them stay tougher in close games. I think that's the one area they're looking to improve in, more veteran leadership and toughness. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook, one of the best success stories when it comes to converting a scoring guard to playing the point. It, but it's his overall talent that's made him successful, his will, his competitiveness, and his incredible athleticism. Boris Diaz checked in for Matt Bonner. And Russell Westbrook drops them both. And Westbrook is a phenomenal rebounder and scorer at the point guard position. He gets steals. He really is one of the stat sheet stuffer supreme guys in the league. Now here's Duncan. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. He's their go-to guy. And when he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. Outside, Green. The pass to Anderson. Green with a screen on Ibaka. And Joseph kicks to Green. Six to shoot. Fires from deep. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And Westbrook, every season among the league leaders, Steve, in assists, but, but also, unfortunately, in turnovers. Well, with his scoring burden, you know, that's to be expected. But it's definitely an area he can continue to improve. The Thunder have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. And they're right around 74% as a team from the free throw line to this point of the season. You know, this season versus last, they've seen a decrease in their success at the free throw line. They throw good, Adams. You know, the Spurs, because of their way of conducting business and their low-key personality of never really been ratings darlings for the NBA, despite being considered and respected as a model franchise in the league. The team's color of silver and black, I think, fits their style. It's uh, not really flashy or gaudy, but it does point out their business-like approach and how precise they play and how much they win. Now, here's Joseph. Six points for him. Anderson a screen on Westbrook. Joseph the pass to Anderson. Drops one in from the wing. Anderson's got five points now in the quarter. The Thunder have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. Westbrook drives in. Got that bucket in in no time at all. His work at the offensive end has been phenomenal. Maybe reason number one, they're ahead. The Spurs have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Joseph dishes to Bellinelli. And there's the call, Oklahoma City with the foul. To the inside, and that comes off the assist by Duncan. Duncan's got three assists now in this one. And their solid play in the paint continues, guys. Well, that's been the focus, Clark, as we've watched. I mean, they've created one chance after another inside. Now here's Westbrook. 30 points in the game. Durant, wide open. He fires. And again, it's Oklahoma City. He's so reliable. You know, his offense seems to be consistently there for this team. Now Joseph, Bellinelli up top. Now the feed to Joseph. There's the triple, and he gets it to go. Joseph's got five points now this quarter. Seems like guarding him on the perimeter is not a priority for this defense, but it will become one if he continues to knock them down. And Roberson kicks to Westbrook. Dishes it to Roberson. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Roberson's got seven. Oh, ho, ho. the rapid-fire threes coming from everywhere. 
I thought it might be a little imprudent to try to get those points right back, but it worked. Here's Bellinelli. 13 points in the game. Into Diaw. Kicks to Bellinelli. Five to shoot. A nice shot by Anderson. Yeah, he should thank the defense for those two points, really. Nobody paid him any mind there. So it's the Thunder now. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. Well, I tell you what, Kyle Anderson out of UCLA was one of the most productive and most unique players in the 2014 draft. I mean, his beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and I love his game. He's not a great athlete or defender. All he does is make winning plays. He's a 6'9 point forward, excellent rebounder, passes at a very high level. He sees things two or three frames ahead. In the right system with the right coach, this guy could be very special. Here's what San Antonio is going with right now. Baines is checked in, and it's Ginobili in for Anderson. Westbrook kicks to Durant. Offensive rebound, Ibaka. Here's Adams, and uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. Boy, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. The other thing that's been huge for them is their points in the paint. They're getting the ball inside and converting on a regular basis. Bellinelli and Durant with the block. And Joseph kicks to Ginobili. Passes to Diaw. Back to Ginobili. Six to shoot. Another shot. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Adams has got his sixth rebound on the night. And Clark Kyle Anderson finding a great fit with the San Antonio Spurs. His game often compared with that of Boris Dia, who was so important in the finals against Miami last season for you the talk, Spurs. You heard me mention before that you don't have to be a great athlete to be a really yes, good basketball player. I like player. that comment, by the way. Boris Dia mm -hmm. is an example of that. Chris Mullen would be an example. Larry Bird. Magic Johnson was not an off-the-charts athlete, Kevin, but a fantastic basketball player. Kyle Anderson. Slow motion, they call him. Yeah, how about him? He is nice. I'm telling you, this kid has tremendous basketball ability. He does everything. There's not anything Flo fluid. Oh, so smooth. smooth. I love watching him operate and work. Um, just the kind of player that will fit in nicely in San Antonio. Here's Joseph. Following the score by Oklahoma City. There's the bucket. Good. Eight points for Manu Ginobili. Oklahoma City's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Westbrook passes to Ibaka. Back to Westbrook. Six on the shot clock. Here's Jackson. Off target from outside. San Antonio's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And Joseph kicks to Ginobili. Out left to the wing. Diaw dishes to Ginobili. Ginobili left side. That doesn't go either by Ginobili. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Durant kicks to Jackson. They get a hand on it. Ginobili outside. Bellinelli passes to Joseph. And Ginobili now top of the key. Shot clock at five. He kicks to Joseph. Let's it go with a three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Most any NBA player can make you pay when you leave them that wide open. That's why you have to stay alert on defense. Westbrook dishes to Adams. Durant, that's good. Durant's got 20. I've really appreciated their activity in the post today. I mean, their movement down low has been great. Yep, ball movement, player movement. They're generating a lot of easy opportunities for themselves down there. Now here's Ginobili. Eight points for him. Tries it from nine. And Jackson with the block. 
Durant at the elbow. Bellinelli pulls it in. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Now here's Joseph. He's got 12. Ginobili with the ball. Westbrook picks him up. Ginobili kicks to Joseph from past the arc. And Boris Diaw picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, he was boxed out, and when that happens, you know, you, at some point, you have to just turn and get back defensively. That time, he went right over the top. Yeah, but you go straight on the top of another player's back, that's going to be a foul call every time. And the Thunder making a switch here. Perkins, he's checked in for Adams. Collison comes in for Serge Ibaka. Anthony Morrow's checked in for Kevin Durant. And it's Lamb in there for Russell Westbrook. And Lamb kicks to Jackson. Out left to the wing. And here's Morrow outside. And Splitter pulls it down. Splitter's got four rebounds in this game. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And he can't bank that one in. Jackson with it. He's got 12. To the left wing. Collison inside. Here's Perkins. And it's good. Pop through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Well, not the best statistic for him. I mean, his performance at the line, of course, very low numbers. You know, his free throw percentage has dropped this year, but not really enough to raise any red flags or to become alarmed about it. Here's Ginobili. No luck. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. It's the Thunder opening up a huge gap. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, you're watching 2K Sports. Here's Jackson. So the Thunder Five right now. Reggie Jackson out there with Jeremy Lamb. Then there's Anthony Morrow. Then there's Nick Collison. And it's Perkins in its center. Jackson, the pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the J. They can't afford to give him that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to fight over the top of that. Parker passes to Mills. Feeds it to Splitter. Leonard on the wing. Six to shoot. Pass to Bonner. And Leonard gets it to go. You know, every team in the league loves to have good size in the middle, but it does seem like the league is getting tougher for big men. You know, they help defenses now. Uh, the allowance of zone defenses you can sort of load up on players. It can inhibit a big man's ability to attack because you can see double teaming even before he's gotten the ball. Uh, but it's made for great strategy, and I really like the new rules. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And you love the concentration. Gets hit, but stays with the play. Yeah, he showed a lot right there. Plenty of concentration finding a way to get that shot to fall. At the line for your Spurs, Thiago Splitter. Shooting one. And the free throw, no good. You know, the NBA is a talent league, and it's hard to win in the NBA without superstar talent. And the Thunder are fortunate to have two superstars in Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. Those two give them a chance to win no matter who they're facing up against or where they're playing. Six to shoot. Jackson dishes tomorrow. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got five assists tonight. Parker with it. And too long on the shot. And you look at the star challenge for Oklahoma City. The eternal what if 
Steve, how would this team be different if they'd held on to James Harden? Well, that's the question. I mean, to have three superstars, they would have been unstoppable offensively. As it is, they're hard enough to guard. Uh, but, you know, that's a question that will remain you know, forever unanswered. Thomas checked in for Reggie Jackson. With the success they've been having from the three-point line since halftime, I'll bet you that scoreboard starts to look a lot different real soon. Of course, they have to stay hot. But if they do, I think you're right, Clark, particularly if they can convert defense into offense. No good from Lamb. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. And it's out of bounds to the Spurs as San Antonio Still retains possession. Ball. 18 seconds of the shot. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And here's Mills for three. Here's Bonner. Can't hit. Great D that time from Collison. Oklahoma City's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Here's Morrow, covered by Parker. Lamb with the ball. Shot clock at six. Morrow, that's a two-pointer. Not enough on that one as it misses. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Parker kicks to Bonner. Here's Mills. He dishes it to Leonard. That's a two from Parker. Kendrick Perkins grabs the miss. Perkins got rebound number five here tonight. Lamb with the ball. He's against Parker. And here is Lamb. Perkins with a screen on Parker. Leonard with the steal. And now running up the court. Leonard pushing it up. And that one is stuck right through. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. Lamb passes to Morrow. You know, an interesting study came out recently that argued that steals are really undervalued, not just because they create high percentage scoring opportunities at the other end, but also there just aren't that many players who really excel in that area. Lamb, good. Here's Parker. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Splitter with the ball. He's against Perkins. Leonard attacking, and the layup is good. Leonard's got nine points now in just the second half. When you talk about steals, one of the harder stats to replace, some players just have the knack. Yeah, you know, when you replace a guy who can take the ball away from opponents, a great stealer, I mean, it's hard to replace that in your lineup. Steals require a special knack, quickness, anticipation. And, you know, guys that do a good job of ball hawking can really get into an opposing player's head, too. Offensive rebound. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Here's Mills. Here's Splitter. He feeds it to Mills. A stupendous finish in trap. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. I think it's time to make some adjustments defensively, Clark. I mean, what they've got going right now is not getting it done. To the wing right side. Here's Morrow. Outside Thomas. There's the dish to Lamb. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. You look at NBA defenses now. More and more, they're designed to deny points in the paint and three-pointers and concede long twos. That's the impact of analytics because uh, the numbers indicate the long two is the lowest percentage shot to take. San Antonio making a switch here. Baines has checked in. And here's Mills from the arc, and the shot is good. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot off. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. Here's Morrow, covered by Mills. Now here's Lamb. 
Here's Morrow. Takes a shot at the elbow, and the jumper is good. Morrow's got five points in the quarter. And you know, it seems players are, are starting to avoid those long twos early in the shot clock. Yeah, and especially the elite scorers, you know, becoming much more conscious about their shot selection. Last season, the top five scorers were more efficient than at any time since the ABA-NBA merger almost four decades ago. Now Lamb. Thomas, a screen on Parker. There's the screen. Now here's Lamb, covered by Parker. Lots of room, and he gets it to go. I wasn't so sure he could get it turned around after that poor first half, but uh, he's got it rolling here a little bit in the second. And over the years, we've seen injuries bother the same people over the course of their careers, while other players seem to stay healthy. And uh, it, it may be just genetic makeup. It could be off-season training. But it does seem that staying healthy can also can almost be considered a skill rather than just uh, luck of the draw. Here's Morrow. Pass to Perkins. Second shot opportunity. Collison, no good. For San Antonio, they've got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. And that'll be San Antonio as it goes out of bounds. Spurs retain possession. The Spurs making a switch here. Ginobili's checked in. Andre Robertson, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. On defense, the Thunder. Splitter kicks to Leonard beyond the arc. Morrow with the rebound. Injury management, such a big part, Clark, of the game today. So many factors going to stand healthy in the NBA and all sports, for that matter. How a player is built, how they train, how they play. And then there's that, that uh, X factor, luck. Yeah, no question, Kevin. I mean, we used to talk about the durability of what Russell Westbrook, a player who really hadn't missed a game since his high school days, and then all of a sudden a player crashes into his knee, and he's out and has multiple repercussions from that so as a player and even as a broadcaster I like to say you've got to control what you can control mm -hmm. out to the right wing here's Roberson lamb up top there's the pass to Roberson shot clock at five Morrow dishes to lamb for the three San Antonio with the rebound. Parker with no one around. Parker with another miss. He's not a guy they're going to be able to count on the way he's playing in this quarter. Morrow, the pass to Lamb. Two minutes, two minutes. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Collison in the post. Splitters there. Collison, good. Well, it's a wrap, fellas. <laughs> no way you come back in this one. Not anymore. Any chance of that happening went out the window a while ago. Ginobili outside. There's the feed to Parker. Leonard on the wing. Back to Parker. Inside. Here's Baines. And the rejection by Perkins. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. I mean, they're really pushing them around physically at this point. Now here's Lamb. Defense right on him. From 12 feet out. And again, it's Oklahoma City. And guys, with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who's watched it. I mean, just a total mismatch in a, a true show of strength for the Thunder. You're right, Steve. It was a standout performance across the board. They were just, uh, at times, Clark, it seemed toying with them. Yeah, like watching a cat play with a mouse, Kevin, quite yeah. honestly. They were able to do more or less whatever they wanted to do. And so they'll stretch their victory total to 19 on the season. And talk about applying pressure to an opponent. Tonight's win will move their record to 2-0 and in the season series with two more games left to play on their year against the Spurs. You look at the stats and you'll see just how dominant a game this was for Russell Westbrook and the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone on his team on offense. Anderson, he's checked in for San Antonio. 
then for the Thunder, Lance Thomas comes in for Anthony Morrow. And Reggie Jackson subs in for Jeremy Lamb. And that one falls for Splitter. Oklahoma City's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Jackson a screen on Ginobili. And Roberson kicks to Jackson. Dishes it to Roberson. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That one on Ginobili. First one falls, and the Spurs making a change here. So he gets them both. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Parker kicks to Bonner, fires the three, rebounded by Jackson. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline. Doris? Thanks, guys. Kevin, what was so drastically different about this team's defense in the second half? Well, early in the game, they got some easy threes, four or five threes. They're a great shooting team, and they're great in the paint, so we just had to make a second effort. I think the only adjustment we made was playing harder, and uh, we just got to continue to you know, keep playing together on both ends. Well, you certainly locked them up. Thank you, Kevin. Over to you guys. Doris, thank you. And for Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us as Jordan presents our player of the game, Russell Westbrook.